Women in Science, Part 3. Inga Lehmann. Born in Denmark in 1888, Inga Lehmann attended a progressive high school that treated girls and boys equally, enrolling them in the same curriculum and extracurricular activities. A very sharp contrast to the mathematical and scientific community she later encountered, which she once protested about, saying, quote, You should know how many incompetent men I had to compete with. In vain. In 1920, after 12 years, Inga Lehmann earned her master's degree in mathematics at the University of Copenhagen and the University of Cambridge. In 1928, she earned a second master's degree in geodesy from the University of Copenhagen. Now, earthquakes are the movement of Earth's crust, resulting from the release of built-up potential energy between two stuck tectonic plates. The more time between quakes, the more energy is stored up, meaning the larger the earthquake. Now, body waves are the main waves that scientists study, specifically seismologists study. Seismology is actually the study of earthquakes. Body waves are the waves that run through the interior of the Earth. There's the P wave, which is primary wave, and they're the first waves to arrive. They are compressional waves, and they have a push-pull motion like a slinky, and they are fast. The second wave is called an S wave. The S waves are second to arrive. They are transverse waves, meaning they have a side-to-side -side motion, and they are pretty slow. In 1929, a large earthquake occurred near New Zealand. Inga Lehman studied the shockwaves and was puzzled by what she saw. A few P waves, which should have been deflected by the core, were in fact recorded at seismic stations. Lehman theorized that these waves had traveled some distance into the core and then bounced off some kind of boundary. Her interpretation of this data was the foundation of a 1936 paper entitled P prime, in which she theorized the Earth's center consisted of two parts, a solid inner core surrounded by a liquid outer core, separated by what has come to be called the Lehman discontinuity. Before this, it was believed that Earth's core was a single molten sphere. The other male scientists were unable to explain the measurements of the seismic waves from earthquakes that were inconsistent with this idea they had. Lehman's hypothesis was confirmed in 1970 when more sensitive seismographs detected waves deflecting off the solid core. The following year, in 1971, Inga Lehman was presented with the William Bowie Medal, the American Geophysical Union's highest honor. She was described as the master of a black art for which no amount of computerizing is likely to be a complete substitute. She lived to be 104 years old.